Get your decade ahead horoscope for your sign at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. Now, throughout this month, Mars is going to remain in your sign. Mars comes around about once every two years or so for about seven weeks. And so this is the month when you are gonna continue to host Mars. And this gives you that little extra edge, that extra force really, and makes you a force of change where you want it in your life. But as much as it can make you determined, if you are not actively using this energy, it can also turn in on itself a little bit uh, and create some feelings of frustration. That's what you want to avoid. And the way that you avoid that is action. If you take action, you will be using this energy to your advantage. So that blessing is still there with you throughout this month. It can be an adrenaline rush as well. And so you have that at your disposal. What we also have this month, of course, is important lunar activity. And it starts with the new moon. Right around the third of the month, there will be a new moon in the sign just before yours. This new moon will be speaking with Neptune in a connection of tension. Now, when we look at the sign just before yours, this has to do with uh, a few different areas. One is it has to do with your dreams. So with Neptune speaking to this new moon, chances are your dreams are going to feel a little bit wildly symbolic or a little bit all over the place. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> you may also feel just a need for rest. Wanting to get more sleep is part of this as well. Now, with this new moon uh, is also going to come Mercury moving into your sign. And as Mercury moves into your sign, under the light of the new moon, will reach out in harmony with Uranus. Now, this tells me a few things. On the one hand, that new moon, it's a very quiet, almost unconscious energy. And so there's a lot going on on levels of energy, on levels of psyche and spirit. But at the same time, there's a part of you that is starting to feel more aware, uh, more knowing of what you're thinking and why it is that you're putting certain ideas together. And especially once that Mercury speaks with Uranus, that energy is just lucky. It's like you having the right conversation at the right time, having a light bulb moment take place for you and it allows you to create that much more positive momentum in your life. Now that is really what you want to strengthen. So balance out the energy of needing sleep with also the energy of curiosity and awareness and conversation because it is these particular endeavors that are gonna allow you to tap into a very quick but very fortunate energy that you can ride to your advantage. Now whether that is practical advantage in terms of actual opportunities, that you can tap into, or whether that's personally in terms of the ideas that come forward that you can then apply to be happier or to make your life better, well, all of that becomes possible. Learning is gonna feel a lot easier as well in the first days of this month. As we navigate further right around the middle of the month, right around the 18th is when we are going to have a full moon take place. Now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life. And so this is your workplace and the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing, your clients and your customers. This is also a part of the sky that has to do with your health related habits. Now again, Neptune is speaking with this full moon in a connection of tension. And this tells me a few things. Not a lot is as it appears on the surface. Um, if it is that you have any important health related tests that need to happen, I would invite you to do them as early in the month as possible. Once we start navigating further um, towards the middle of the month, that is when any results you get may not necessarily be very accurate. Now you add to this another layer and that is within days of uh, this full moon. Mercury will enter shadow and it is going to be in July uh, that Mercury is going to be retrograde uh, in your sign part of the time and in the sign just in front of yours another part of the time. Now I will talk a lot more about that next month with the Mercury retrograde season but it is important to be mindful that um, 
when you have not only mercury going into shadow it means that whatever shows up for you chances are you're going to be returning to it because it is mercury in your sign going into shadow what does show up for you uh, seems to matter to you quite a bit it is near and dear to your heart could be connected to uh, issues of vitality or just could be connected to what matters to you most and what matters to you first but you'll be reconsidering these areas and having another look or needing another perspective as we navigate beyond this month. And of course, with this full moon speaking with Neptune, uh, health related tests or advice or insight that you get, uh, any changes that you're looking to make, it's like they may miss the mark. They may be rooted in inaccurate information. Now the accuracy will be there once we get you into August and Mercury starts moving forward. But if you already know that the tendency is there, I would advise you where possible, uh, try to give yourself that little bit of space. Now, of course, sometimes you can't help it. And in that case, you have to trust your circumstances, but also whatever comes forward, take it with a little bit of a grain of salt and a little bit of patience, knowing that it would be a good idea to get another perspective once we get you later into the summer. Now with this particular full moon, we're also focusing in on matters that have to do with your workplace. If it is that you are in a particular workplace with people surrounding you there, with this Neptunian connection, all may not be as it seems, whether intentional or unintentional, uh, information that you get from customers, from coworkers may not necessarily be accurate. So it is important to keep that in mind. Um, your intuition may be particularly strong, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of evidence to back it. However, here's the thing. Jupiter is also happening close to this full moon as well. So it looks like you're hopeful. It looks like you're optimistic. It looks like you're feeling that there is greater possibility and there's every reason to see the good in others. And that is an asset at this time. It's just that where it comes to making solid plans and decisions where possible, try to give yourself a little bit of space uh, once we get beyond this full moon. Uh, where it comes to any new assignments that you may take on, what is expected of you and what it is that you actually need to do, again, may not necessarily be clear. So if there's anything really important that needs to get done, try to do that as early in the month as possible, especially where it comes to your work. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is going to spend most of the month in the sign just before yours. Now, the first week, we've still got the energy that we're carrying in from last month, which is a very friendship part of your sky. Friends and love can mix in powerful and very sultry ways, I might add, in the very beginning of the month. But it is as we navigate forward, right around the 9th is when Venus will move into the sign just before yours. Now, before I dive into that, let me say next month is really powerful for you where it comes to matters of love. It is going to be eclipse season, eclipses in your sign and your opposite sign. Venus is going to enter your sign as well. And as I said, we'll be in a Mercury retrograde season with part of that time Mercury in your sign. So it looks like you are considering and reconsidering and getting another look and feeling a, a very strong sense of karma playing out where it comes to what is happening in the realm of love. However, this month is important for a few reasons. On the one hand, it helps to set the stage. It helps to clear space for the new and the next to find you. But also, this is the month where you want to watch because sometimes this is the divine setup that lets uh, the really big changes show up for you once we get into next month. And it is really the days after the full moon that you want to watch. Uh, right around the 19th, right up until the 23rd, I would pay very close attention to those days immediately following the full moon because this is where the moon is going to be when the eclipse takes place in your opposite sign. So not to get too techy here, okay, but just basically Pay attention to the days immediately after the full moon because they may in some way get the ball rolling, get the wheels turning uh, to what is gonna change more dramatically where it comes to matters of love once we get to next month's lunar eclipse mid-month 
And of course, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. But yes, this is the foreshadowing. And it is possible the divine setup has already started to fall into place. But with Venus moving through the sign just before yours, it tends to make for an overall very personal, very quiet uh, understanding where it comes to where you are in love and why and where it is that you'd like to go. If you're open to meeting someone new, it is very possible that you do connect with someone, especially in the very beginning of the month. In social situations, that's where you want to focus, where uh, it can truly feel as if a very uh, strong connection does take place with someone. But for much of the month, with Venus in the sign just before yours, it looks like it is possible anyone new that you do connect with, there are uh, some other factors playing out, some underlying factors there uh, that can feel like they're a little bit complicated that can feel like they are asking you to pace yourself, which would probably be a good idea right about now. For those of you who are getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, uh, this uh, Venus and the sign just before yours can invite you to create some space, uh, can invite you to pace yourself as well. It can feel as if what is developing with this person or what you are wanting to develop with this person, that it's not the time to announce it to the world or even to them. That really is okay. It's more time to feel out how it is that you are feeling moving forward. And for those of you who are uh, in an established bond, it looks like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Uh, again, not something that you're ready necessarily to announce to the world, but yet you feel it deeply. It is much more a time of a, a sense of a soulmate connection with your partner and what it is that doesn't need to be said just yet to allow it to be unsaid, knowing that the time for more uh, pronounced conversations and understandings will find you. In fact, it is just around the corner. What I love about this month for you, well, I will say what I love is Mercury in your sign. I think that this is beautiful energy. Uh, this is energy that is going to be with you right out of the gate as you start this month. And it starts with a real sense of happiness, a burst of awareness, if you will. An epiphany, possibly, uh, that can be very personal, but also outer events lining up very quickly and very much to your advantage. Now, wherever it is that you are wanting to ask for something that matters to you, uh, to in some way be persuasive, you will have a spontaneous and quick moment to actually state your case. And with energy like this, right out of the gate, chances are you'll be able to have and to get and to secure exactly what it is that you are asking for. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.